afternoon, America and Internet audiences at large. This is College Humor News, the only news organization in which you, the College Humor commenters, decide what we're reporting on. You comment on it, and we will report on it. You've heard of the fake news problem? Well, it starts here with us and with you. We are flying without a net, and anything you decide that I should be reporting on is what I will indeed report on. These pages in front of me, ladies and gentlemen, are blank, merely blue. This just in from reporter Chicky the Man. Good news, I got a soda. Chicky the Man has been stranded on a desert island for the better part of seven years with only a cell phone that he uses to let us know how he is surviving. Good news for Chicky the man, he just got a soda, which we here at College Humor News delivered to him via airdrop. You might ask yourself, why didn't we deliver food or even a healthier beverage? The answer is we're big diet Sunkiss fans. So is Chicky the man, and we thought we could all cheers together over a diet Sunkissed. Something about that orange flavor just really wets the chops. This just in from reporter Mushroom Craft One, Donald Trump has officially met with the Lord Kermit the Frog in an incredible turn of events in the religious world. It has been confirmed that indeed there is a God in the sky hanging out there above the clouds, and it is none other than America's favorite Muppet, Kermit the Frog. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is an incredible test of faith for all of us here who have believed in a deity in one form or another over the years. I myself have prayed to Gonzo. Uh, I know many a uh, religious group who have uh, prayed to Animal um, and prayed to Ralph, but I don't think that anyone saw this particular green, small, morose turn coming from the religious sector. This just in from reporter Spencer O'Dowd, our man on the ground. Hittite is now the official language of California. Hittite, 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 Hittite is now the official, well, if I'm going to learn how to speak it, I should know how it's pronounced, and I have no clue, nor do I have any clue how to speak it. But as it's now the official language of California, and we are in California, it is my profound duty to start speaking this language using only my best guess. So here I go. Shapoopy noopy do, gok to eek, misbentein schnono, fort bich ponte shisaitai. Uh, I've decided that it's uh, sort of like German. This just in from reporter Knights in Gaming, a new church has been opened to worship Kermit the Frog, which makes total sense, since we have now learned that Kermit the Frog is our Lord and Savior. Uh, many people are taken to a form of prayer that involves sitting in a, uh, on a rock by a pond, strumming a ukulele. Apparently, these messages are the ones most likely to reach Kermit the Frog, who once again, it's been discovered is God. This just in from reporter Deadpool's aliens are taking over the world. And the extraordinary turn of events in all this is they're having a great impact. They have taken over our city systems. Uh, transportation is running more regularly and reliably. The economy is up. The Dow is soaring. Uh, people are falling in love more easily and have less stress in our lives now that the aliens are in control and we all have to worry less about work. It seems that we should have been rooting for the alien intervention for a long time. It's humans, in a terrific stroke of irony, that were the problem all along. This just in from reporter Meatballs for Life, Stripe Ties... <laughs> Striped ties are now illegal. And given this remarkable turn of events, I myself will be going to jail shortly. This will be my final broadcast 
since I will be a goddamn motherfucker if I deliver the news in anything but a striped tie. Striped ties are my personal religion. Kermit the Frog can go fuck himself. I feel so powerfully about my power tie that I'm willing to go to jail for it, to be a political prisoner, to have only two meals a day, each one, uh, just a bad gruel and bread for the sake of this. My tie. This just in from reporter Caleb Underwood. Games are banned from the world. That goes for any kind of game, board game, football game, or even the games that men and women play together as they're entering into a romantic relationship. Games of any kind have been outlawed. If it's a game, it's now like a striped tie and outlawed from this world. Which makes all the sense in the world since games, especially those played between a man and a woman as they enter into the brief but important uh, period before they fall in love, are manipulative and bad. I myself don't play games. When it comes time for me to venture into that brave frontier of love, I'm straightforward. And I say things like, hey, your nose is pretty. Want to grab an avocado sandwich? I find that the straightforward approach is best. Sorry, this just in. Breaking news now from Cool Bro. Striped ties are now legal again, and I will no longer be a political prisoner, which is good news. And yet bad news. It is bittersweet. I was prepared to go to jail for the sake of striped ties, which, again, I will say are the one thing I love most about life on Earth. Putting on this tie in the morning gives me a sense of purpose, a sense of power, and even an erection. The fact that they're legal again means that I will no longer have to dodge the police as I've been doing, not so successfully by airing this broadcast, but I can live in peace, knowing that righteousness, meaning a boner in the form of a tie, is alive in the world again. This just in from Nicholas Caldi. Your mom, meaning my mom, is making ravioli. Now, my mother's ravioli I've been eating since I was about seven years old. It is the perfect combination of cheese, rubbery outside, and bland tomato sauce. You may not like my mother's ravioli, and in that case I say to you, go fuck yourself. My mother's ravioli is the most tasty thing on the planet. As far as things I like, I put it right up there with striped ties. Now sometimes my mother would make manicotti, and at those times I would look at my mother dead in her with my cold eyes, and I would say, what are you doing? Since manicotti is just like ravioli, but with less noodle. And who in their right mind, ladies and gentlemen, wants less noodle? This just in from reporter Isaac Fernando. Pokemon are attacking the Trump Tower. But Mr. Donald Trump does not seem to be phased. He's running around that tower with phone in hand, yelling, gotta catch them all, gotta catch them all. Secret Service are hot on his tail trying to tackle him in order so that he can be safe from the Pokemon. And yet, uh, Mr. Trump seems to think that this is some sort of game. Uh, more and more Secret Service are pouring into the building. Uh, and Mr. Trump, however, seems unfazed. Uh, once again, uh, chanting, gotta catch them all, gotta catch them all. Uh, this just in from Jason Hunter Leaf. Ravioli is illegal. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I am a man on the run again because I will not stand for a political system in which my favorite noodle dish is illegal. I stood up for striped ties, and I will stand up for ravioli too even if it means eventually being put in front of a firing squad who riddle my body with bullets and leave me a heaping mess of tomato sauce-ish blood on the ground. This just in from reporter Alfie Chineri. Breaking news, my dog is on fire. 
I have here on my computer screen a little home surveillance system that I've been watching in order to make sure that my tiny little yurtle yurtle left alone today for the first time is okay. Apparently he is not. He managed to climb up onto the stove to light the stove in a remarkably tragic turn of events and is now streaking around my house himself on fire, lighting fire to all of my personal possessions. He is almost like a little fireball. Eventually, I can only assume that he will die. Turn to a crisp and lay on the floor, uh, forfeiting his life uh, to his new uh, fiery destiny. And at that point, he may light less of my house on fire. Therefore, while it is tragic, and I feel incredibly emotional about it, uh, I can only hope for his quick death in order so that my house might be more safe. This just in from reporter Brandon Farmer. Vowels will be phased out by 2020. Uh, apparently this move uh, comes from our new incoming administration. Uh, we'll start with the A's uh, and eventually lead to the E's, which will be eliminated uh, come 2018. Come 2019, we will eliminate the I and the O and the U. And then finally, uh, on New Year's, we will eliminate the Y, and so New Year's will become New Year. As of the turn from 2017 to 2018, once again, Y will be eliminated on the turn from 2017 to 2018, and so New Year's will become New Ears. I want that to really settle in to everybody, and so I will say it one more time, New Year's will become New Ears. I'm being told that our time is running a little short, but I suggest we do another few minutes. This just in from reporter Peter Rothwell. Christmas tree sales are at an all-time low. The lure on Christmas is apparently more uh, warlike and belligerent than ever before, and Christmas tree sales are plummeting. While sales of every other religious artifact or trinket are up. Uh, including angels, little angels that go on Christmas trees. Those are up. Uh, the little, like, uh, dog ornaments that hang off of the, the tree, those are up. And why ornament trees, would, ornament sales would be up while Christmas tree sales are plummeting is a complete mystery to me. Uh, apparently, menorahs are up, as are fruitcakes. This just in from Carolyn Ramey. Zach Oyama has just been fired. Uh, there were rumors of this after a College Humor YouTube mobile live stream some number of weeks ago that some YouTube commenters seemed to think was a joke and others did not. Others were genuinely concerned that Zach Oyama was actually fired. Well, we just confirmed that in fact he was fired. Now, because this is a joke broadcast about a joke video, You'll have to determine for yourself whether or not that statement is true or false. I'll say it again. In the context of a joke video, Zach Oyama has been fired. Is that true or not? Remember, this is the fake news. Think about it real hard before you comment sadly about the fate of Zach Oyama. This just in from reporter Shiny Caterpie LOL. The term LOL, or LOL, is banned on Twitter. Our government seems to be uh, engaging in a series of bans. First was the striped tie, which apparently there was enough outrage about from our society and famous news reporters like myself that they reverted. Then ravioli was banned, and I offered to go to jail for it. Now, the phrase LOL is banned on Twitter, and this one I stand by. LOL needs to die. It is a phrase that can go out with the shitty, shitty 2016. As far as I'm concerned, it's an abbreviation uh, that is outdated and makes you sound juvenile. And at this point, uh, nearly like you're a grandmother using AOL Instant Messenger for the first time. This just in from reporter, not a damn saw dogs are actually still really cool. Not so much my dog, who's really, really hot, as he's on fire, dead, on my kitchen floor, surrounded by the flames 
that are engulfing my entire studio apartment. Uh, my poor, poor little Yorkshire Terrier is nothing but a pile of ash that will be vacuumed up in my $600 vacuum cleaner. Now, you might be asking yourself, if I live in a studio apartment, how can I afford a $600 vacuum cleaner? That is because I value cleanliness above all else. And the thought of living in a bigger place that I would have to vacuum often uh, sets off my OCD in such a way uh, where I just want to kill myself. Now, I may be dead uh, shortly anyway, put in front of a firing squad for my love of ravioli. This just in from Schuldner Neal. America is now a calico cat. In a remarkable turn of events that can only be described as the strangest thing to happen since the reveal of God being Kermit the Frog, the United States, if you back out enough from space, NASA has just revealed, is about the shape and coloring of a calico cat. BuzzFeed has reported to already launch 190 articles about this and one very cute video in which America, as a calico cat, seems to be getting along with Japan, which is the shape of a St. Bernard's dog. Josh Miller reports this isn't Fox News. And that is correct. This is College Humor News, a different brand of fake news decided by you, not a brand of fake news decided by men who look very much like me, but are older and more cynical and live in very vanilla-looking rooms and lead very vanilla-looking lives and eat vanilla ice cream and not chocolate ice cream because they're all racist. Uh, just a quick summary of uh, events here in this past half hour. Ravioli is illegal. My dog is dead and on fire. America is the shape of a calico cat, uh, and the coloring of a calico cat for that matter. But luckily, I am safe to wear my tie. This just in, and uh, this is will be it for the news this hour. Uh, cats have been declared uncool. And therefore, America is uncool. And so, unfortunately, I leave you now in order to move to another country, a country where I might live in peace, safe from the oppressive forces that would have me not eat ravioli for my every meal. I can't stand by a country, and these are my final thoughts, that would outlaw something as delicious as a cheese-filled noodle nugget. That's it for the news. I'm Sam Reich. This is College Humor, and we'll see you next time.